My officers were called to reports of a stabbing at 11.47 this morning and at a dress in Southport. When they arrived, they were shocked to find that multiple people, many of whom were children, had been subjected to a ferocious attack and had suffered serious injuries. It is understood that the children were attending a Taylor Swift event at a dance school when the offender, armed with a knife, walked into the premises and started to attack inside the children. I, to her and I just asked her if she's all right and she just, she just looked in complete shock. She had blood all over her body and she just screamed at me. She screamed at me. She said, he's killing kids over there. He's killing kids over there. Their names are Alice, Bibi and Elsie. They're the three girls killed in a knife attack at a holiday club. Alice was nine, Bibi just six years old, Elsie was seven. We believe that the adults who were injured were bravely trying to protect the children who were being attacked. Here in the UK, two children have been killed in what police called a ferocious stabbing at a dance class in Southport in the northwest of England. Nine more children have been injured. Six are in a critical condition. A 17-year-old male from Banks in Lancashire, who is originally from Cardiff, has been arrested on suspicion of murder and attempted murder. And he's been taken to a police station where he will be interviewed by detectives. In Southport today, on the street where it happened, there were flowers and utter disbelief. I just, it's just heartbreaking. Um, it's just so heartbreaking. I've got a daughter of my own and it's just made me, I don't know what to say. It's still the same. You're okay. <sighs> Poor children. Some of those emergency workers returned today. The scene they faced after an attack so violent, with so many victims, most of them so young, is hard to comprehend. A 17-year-old, arrested by armed police after the knife attack, remains in custody. While five miles away, in the village where the teenager lives, police were still outside a house that was raided and searched yesterday. My daughter comes here all the time. That's my uncle's house. We know the girls that, that were teaching. We know the girls that were involved. It's just horrendous. See, I open the door and honestly, like, there's this girl um, which will probably stay with me for my life for the rest of my life, and she was completely out of it. I can't explain to you how how horrific it is what what I saw, but I um, in the moment I, I just I didn't even know what to do. do you know, I didn't know what to think. I just wanted to get her out of the car and try and get her to safety. So I've just got this girl out of the car and I've I've ran towards the road and I've just been because we're there at the start, you see. So there's only a few members of the public and the the main thing in in that specific moment was like there's there's still more. Like, this is actually happening and there's people inside there because that's that's where they've been. That's where they've come from. So I just initially wanted to get her out of the car and try and get her to say try and get her to safety. Like but I didn't know where I was safe, if that makes sense. So I take her to the road and I'm shouting, I'm screaming for help. Someone ring the ambulance. Everyone was trying to do the best. You know, no one expected that was that would happen, but 